What's up guys, it's the Hot and Fuzzy again. I got a cool video for you here today. Um, a lot of people have asked me to uh, branch out, maybe a little bit go a little bit from guns, maybe do some more si uh, science related things like science experiments and different things with elements or electricity or something uh, just interesting science experiments. Well today I have the first one of those. Um, right here I have a uh, smartphone. This is an LG. It's touch screen, works perfectly fine. Uh, I uh, This is the phone that I had before I stepped into the iPhone world. Today what we're going to do is we're going to get some lead, lead pellets from uh, shotgun shells, melt them down, and pour them, pour the molten lead onto this screen and see what it does. Because I'm really not sure. It might melt it. It might bounce off and cool. I don't know. But we're going to find out and do that. Do that. So uh, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Phone's still working. Ooh. But it did do a number on the screen. Let's see if we can do that again and maybe finish this thing off. Boy, it's stuck on there. There's a big bunch of it right there. It's not good to touch a lid, but I'm making bullets. And... Boy, it's stuck. There we go. It came off. Wow. Guys, this is pretty amazing. You can see how melted that front of that phone is, how badly the screen is. Melted the sides, the buttons on this side. But, nevertheless, the strain comes on, and it still works. It's rough and everything, but you know, it's, it's working. That's amazing that this screen held up to having all that lead poured on it. I don't know exactly how many ounces of lead I had there. But it was about from probably about 10 shotgun shells total put on this thing. That's pretty amazing that this cell phone can still function after having that happen to it. Guys, that was pretty cool. The cell phone still works after having all that molten lead poured on it. That was That's pretty amazing that this uh, glass can withstand that kind of heat. If you guys want me to do any more science experiments like this, leave those in the comments below. I'll see what I can do. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to have some more pretty cool gun videos up here pretty soon. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Keep those subs coming, and we'll talk to you guys soon.